So I've been a musician for about 16 odd years and there are a few things that I learned along the way that I wish I knew before I actually started it. So I'm going to share five talking points about being a musician and having a music career. So the very first one is you have to know that no one is going to save you. The whole thought of some A&R sitting in the crowd while you're performing to an almost empty crowd and then being wowed by your talent and then signing you and saving you and putting you in some kind of record deal does no longer exist. So the only way to kind of get anything going in your music career is to spend time on it and to save yourself. That means working consistently and continuously trying to improve on your music hustle, the overall appearance of yourself and yes, just being an awesome musician. And since no one is going to save you, number two means that you will have to learn other skills. Gone are the day where you're going to have a team that is going to do everything for you and you probably will get there if you keep hustling on it but the fact is when you are an independent musician especially in the beginning stages of your career when you're trying to grow is that you'll have to learn other skills so the list of skills that you have to learn are broad depending on what you're trying to achieve but basically you have to have some kind of graphic work you must be able to edit some kind of videos and you basically have to be your own marketing manager that is the tricky part about being an independent musician considering that the internet has blown up it is actually fairly possible to be and learn how to be all the different aspects in essence when you're an independent musician you actually have to somewhat be your own record label but that is a conversation for another the day but what I want to share is that you have to learn other skills and considering that there is a lot of other work that has to be done being a musician is technically a lot of work you can't just sit and make music anymore you kind of have to market yourself you have to be have some kind of social presence you have to have your fingers in multiple pies and just to see which one is the warmest and then you focus on that pie now I'm not saying that you have to be 100% active on all these platforms YouTube Instagram Twitter etc but you kind of have to have some kind of footprint because where your customers are where your listeners are are on all of these so you want to be able to have some kind of feel on which musicians or which platforms work best with the career that you're trying to achieve another thing that i learned kind of the hard way is no matter what you're trying to achieve with your music career you have to be consistent now since it's a lot of work and it doesn't happen overnight you have to be consistent for an extended period of time and consistency doesn't necessarily mean posting every single day but consistency means posting on a regular basis somewhat at least once a week or more times to try and get all these algorithms from all the different platforms to get going but you can't just post one day and then disappear for three months post a new song disappear for two months considering how you consume anything on social media internet and any kind of music you kind of know that you're constantly getting music fed to you unless you have already established a very strong fan base you kind of have to be releasing content and music continuously somewhat like a production machine last but not least becoming a successful musician unfortunately or fortunately for some takes time there are a lot of people that get into it and give up after six months but realistically it takes about two years to start seeing anything happening there are several reasons why this could take so long considering how royalties work worldwide they go through several systems and at least it takes about two years so that's when realistically you can gauge the work that you did two years ago so if you ever are hustling and you just give up after a year you are most likely will only see the rewards a year after you've given up and only then you'll realize it was actually a good year so what I highly suggest is that you be patient and you keep on working for an extended period of time as long as you're consistent you'll start seeing your rewards but what I am trying to say is be patient and be consistent keep working and eventually you will get to where you want to be if you want to see how many streams you need to make a thousand rand watch this video